Well, it's time for another shrimp update. Um, just gonna take you through all the tanks, show you what's been going on, show you anything that's changed, which isn't a whole heck of a lot to be honest with you, but um, we do have some uh, breeding and things like that that I um, was kind of surprised to see, so that's good. Um, if you're looking for any shrimp products, shrimp food, um, remineralizers, things like that, um, my e-store, Aquatic Support Systems, uh, sells quite a wide variety. We sell Shrimp King Foods, MK Breed Foods and products, Glass Garden Foods and products, um, Salty Shrimp Remineralizer, um, Moss Ledges, uh, Low Keys Food, all sorts of stuff. So. Um, I think we've got competitive prices and uh, quite a wide variety. So make sure you check that out, AquaticSupportSystems.com. Let's go ahead and get started with the tour. All right, so we're gonna start over here um, with the eight tank rack, or actually, it's actually two four tank racks. Um, and show you what's been going on. We'll start with the uh, Blue Dreams. This colony is finally starting to uh, replenish itself a little bit. You can see there's some babies there. I had kind of oversold um, this colony here, I don't know, a few months back and uh, was starting to worry that it may not, um, you know, replenish itself. But it, it is slowly but surely, so um, I haven't been selling anything out of this tank and I'm going to continue to to leave it that way for now and just let them breed. Um, <clears throat> Pain and Fire Reds up here are doing real nice. Uh, I don't know if you'd call these Painted Fire Reds or just Fire Reds, but um, these, uh, these came from uh, Blue Crown via my buddy uh, Joe Tyson at Joe Shrimp Shack. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel as well if you haven't. Um, we've got a little bit of a scud problem in this tank, so I'm getting ready to take this tank down as soon as I can make a little bit of time. I've got another tank to move these guys to, and then I'm going to uh, um, go ahead and uh, redo this one, and it's going to be a Caradina tank. Nothing going on in this tank. This used to be the, uh, other than massive plant growth, this used to be the uh, crayfish tank. They all died off. This is going to also become a Caradina tank when I have a little bit of time. The uh, Pinto tank, um, as you know, if you've watched prior videos, I lost the entire colony other than about five Pintos. There's four of them right in front there, and there's the fifth one back there. Um, they've Things have stabilized, and they're not dying anymore. The few that I have left are actually really nice. Uh, there's also a scud problem in this tank. So this tank's going to be redone, um, and uh, we'll have to go from there. The uh, whites and golden bees are down here. They're doing real good. Um, quite a bit of plant growth, so you can't really see um, a lot of them right now. They are out eating. Um, they're eating some MK Bree cheeseburger, which is a great food that's available on our website. Same with this tank down here. This is the mixed Thai B tank. Um, it's so overgrown you can't hardly see them, but they're all down in there eating a piece of a cheeseburger. I gotta clear out some of this high, um, what is this, Hygrophilia pinfetata, I think it is called. Um, and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get it so you can see the shrimp a little bit better in this tank, but it's doing real well. Um, right here we've got the, um, these were blood, sold to me as Bloody Marys. Clearly they're not real nice Bloody Mary. So I'm gonna just probably mix them in with my cherry tank upstairs, the 90 gallon, and uh, figure out, uh, maybe try to get uh, some new Bloody Mary blood, if you will, and start off a new colony. They're breeding, there's tons of babies. Just not real satisfied with uh, the outcome uh, as far as their coloration goes. Crystal black tank down here is doing real well. You can see tons of them. There's that rogue crystal red that's always in here. I think I've said before I gotta get him out, so maybe I'll do that one of these days. Just been super busy with the business and other things in life that I haven't been able to really 
really do a lot with shrimp tanks, but these guys are doing real good overall. Colony's doing decent. I added some different blood uh, a month or so back, um, and uh, things are going well. So that is the uh, eight tank rack. Over here, sorry, we got uh, a lot of stuff on the floor. I just got in a shipment from Germany. That is uh, a box of Bacter AE. <laughs> if you're looking for Bacter AE, I got plenty of it. So these are two new tanks. One of them is doing better than others as far as aesthetics goes, but um, they're both basically ready for shrimp. Um, kind of test cycle, or not test cycle, I cycled both of these tanks and tested out this one by putting two Amanos that I had um, in my 90 gallon in here. They've been in there for a few weeks and they're surviving. Down here I put the last two wine rats that I had in that tank up in my office and they're surviving and doing well. Nice big adult wine reds. A lot of algae bloom from the cycle in this tank. But these guys um, are slowly eating it and, uh, you know, clearing it off. So I gotta add colonies. Uh, just trying to decide what I want for both of these tanks and make some time and then we'll go from there. Super Crystal Reds are doing good. So are the snails in here. <laughs> as you can see, but yeah, these guys are doing real good. I, I've had some breeding, there's been some babies, um, still not as much as I'd like, although there could be a lot of fighting back in the massively overgrown mini Pelia mop that I've got back there. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, what I've got in this tank and their colors and stuff like that. <clears throat> the Taiwan B tank is doing fairly well. A um, <clears throat> lot of the, I guess, pink bolts um, from the red bolts that I had in here, they were just kind of a not so good line and they bred a lot. Um, I gotta yank them and put them somewhere else. But um, at some point, I'll be adding some more Taiwan bees to this tank. Um, the blue bolts were doing super well, and I've kind of oversold them a little bit. So I'm pretty much done selling shrimp out of this tank for now. But look at this weird one. Kind of the bluish weird color of blue right there. A couple of shadow pandas running by. But yeah. <clears throat> Up here is the PRL tank and like most of the tanks right now, um, plants are overgrown, but uh, things are doing really well. There's been a lot of breeding in here. You can see a few babies there. A couple right here on the glass. Um, but they're the piece of food that I put in here before I filmed got moved back behind the plant coverage there so you can't really see but the colony has actually been really really expanding and doing well over the past couple of months around the corner here this is that four tank rack that i've got in between two fish tanks so this tank um is what are we gonna call them? So I started with some fancy red tigers, and then I bought some lower grade fancy red tigers, and they're fairly low grade. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna really call these guys, but they've been uh, breeding, and I've had some babies, and, and I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm just gonna kinda let this colony do its thing for a while and then start pulling out the lower grade stuff, culling them and that type of thing. But as you can see right now, things are, things are going well. So the Black Pinto tank, um, they're breeding and doing well also. Um, I need to do some more culling. I did some, but um, got some Michelin's in there. Um, so I'll need to pull those out. Quite a few Michelin's right now. But uh, as you can see, 
see there's babies cruising around in there too, so that's always a good thing. The tried and true Crystal Red tank has uh, really been replenishing itself over the last month or so. There's babies everywhere. Um, the colony's growing back. I was actually starting to get worried that I had sold too much out of here and that this colony wasn't going to replenish itself like I like it usually does, but you know, just at the time when I started thinking, hey, I might need to do something, um, you start noticing babies and more babies and things are just going well. I'm going to uh, continue to not sell out of this tank right now um, just to let this colony grow even more. I probably won't sell a whole lot of anything out of any of my tanks. So if you're looking to buy shrimp right now, um, definitely get in touch with me, but I don't know that I'll have any for you, to be honest. But we can talk and figure things out. We'll go upstairs and show you the last couple of tanks, and then we'll uh, go ahead and end this video. All right, so we're looking at the blue bowl tank up in my office, and as you can see, there's been some breeding in here. And, uh, We've got uh, juveniles, uh, babies to juveniles, and uh, things have turned around for whatever reason. It, uh, for a long, long time, there wasn't any any breeding going on in here, but now we've got it going, and uh, I don't know, haven't done anything different, so I uh, just wanted to show you that, um, and hopefully things continue. Um, but yeah, this tank's doing well, and pretty happy about that. Then, we've got the 90 gallon, which is full of cherry shrimp. <clears throat> this is a uh, 90 gallon aquascapes tank, which is in desperate need of a trim, which is the story of my life, but you can see shrimp all over scattered. There's tons of hiding spots, so they're not always out in the as visible as possible, but there's probably 300 shrimp in here, I would say. There's also some uh, Cardinal Petras. But these are all cherry shrimp in here. Uh, the last shipment I got was from Rob at Flip Aquatics, and before that, the shrimp were being stocked by my buddy Carl, local guy, Carl Johnson, here in Minnesota. But yeah, things seem to be doing real good on this tank as well. All right, so that's basically a tour for this month. Um, again, I'd really appreciate it if uh, you're looking for shrimp food that you would check out my uh, website, aquaticsupportsystems.com. If you are new to this channel and this is the first time you're watching, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, I do regular updates on my shrimp tanks, my reef tanks, and my uh, cichlid tanks. Um, so I've got quite a few tanks all together in the home here, uh, in the fish room, and I try to keep regular updates going on everything that I do. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Um, leave me a like on your way out, and also let me know which, uh, which shrimp that you saw in this video was your favorite and why. And if you have any questions, uh, please also leave that in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.